Good morning from Ian and Ewan is with me. Um, we're on a little adventure. We came down last night on the trains and camped just outside of Ashford, ready to do the Canty Way over the next few days, which is a cycling UK route round the southeast coast. So we're going to be going through places like Margate and Dover uh, and along a coastal route along there. Bits of trail, um, bits of road, but sort of fairly quiet route that Cycling UK have planned. We're really looking forward to giving it a try. About 150 miles over the next couple of days. We're going to be camping each night and enjoying um, the sights and scenes of an area that neither of us have explored before. So really looking forward to a few days um, in the sunshine and enjoying the sights and sounds of the seaside. We've arrived at Y, which is the official start of the Canty Way. Um, obviously, we came from Ashford, camped overnight nearby, and are coming here this morning. Beautiful old church in the centre of Y, which marks the start. And now we're about to head over towards the coast and go through Canterbury on the way, and then we arrive at the coast, which is a little well on the coast where we'll be camping tonight. But we're enjoying the cool of the church and the heat of the summer, aren't we, Ewan? Uh, so I think we probably need to put some suntan lotion on before we step off again and we'll head on towards Canterbury. made it to Chillum, haven't we? And it's time to stop for a nice, cool drink. We've enjoyed some single track on the way here. It's been quite fun. How do you get on? Good. Interesting experience, wasn't it? <laughs> um, along the South Downs Way, so that was lovely. It was all shaded as well, which is perfect on a day like today. Um, but we found this lovely pub in Chillum and it's nice and cool to recover. We've got some sandwiches on the way. Uh, and then we're pass pressing on to Canterbury, which will be the next major stop, where I've promised you an ice cream for dessert. Currently we're cycling down the Crab and Winkle Way, which is the NCN Route 1, on our last little bit towards the coast, towards Whitstable. It's really nice, quiet, traffic-free routes. Yeah, it's a bit, you need reasonable tyres for, yeah, you wouldn't want to be doing this on a road bike, but a touring bike makes easy work of it. And uh, lots of lovely views, but we're looking forward to getting to the sea, probably getting another cold, lollipop or an ice cream and a cold drink and dipping our feet into the sea at least before pitching our tent. <laughs>
We've made it to our campsite this evening. Uh, beautiful days riding and mostly inland today until we arrived at the coast for the last little section to get to our campsite. Uh, it's nice to see the sea uh, and so on when we got there, but we've been riding through some beautiful uh, lanes, cycle paths, uh, mostly shaded as well, which is good considering it was a baking hot day. Yeah, really enjoyed our journey. So now we're just brewing up some tea. Um, I'm cooking up some tortellini shells for our tea, which it tastes really nice. And I've chopped up some pepperoni to add a bit of meat to it and a bit of extra sustenance. So that'll be our tea for tonight. Um, tomorrow, we'll hopefully get some fish and chips somewhere along the route for our lunch. Uh, that should be nice and sit and eat them on the beach maybe have a little paddle as well. It's a beautiful start to our second proper day on the Canty Way. Uh, we're cycling along by the coast. Absolutely beautiful. Bit of a sea breeze to take the cool, give us a bit of cool in the rather warm sunshine that we have again today. But ah, oh, beautiful looking out to sea and enjoying that smell of the sea as well. So we're on our way. We've made it to the outskirts of Margate, haven't we? We've enjoyed a lovely ride along the coast. The sea breeze has been very welcome because it's kept us a bit cooler. Um, but we've just stopped and found somewhere to enjoy a bacon and brie panini. It's quite busy and there's a few bits by the beach huts that you do have to get off your bike and walk as they've requested because it's so busy at the moment. But we're enjoying the beautiful views out to the sea uh, and just a chance to soak up the seaside which when you live in the Midlands is very nice to do, isn't it, you? <laughs> but you're very thankful for this lunch. You were needing this lunch, weren't you? Getting hungry. finished our second day of cycle touring haven't we? Have you enjoyed it? It's been relatively easy today hasn't it? Not too many, I think too bad in the way of hills um, and quite a lot of just cycling along by the side of the sea which has been beautiful. 
And this evening we have found a pub nearby our campsite and are tucking into some very nice cotton chips. Um, while sitting on the beach, what way better way could you end the day than that? Go away. Well, good morning from day three of our cycle tour. Are you ready for what have we got in store at the start of today, Ewan? Hills. We have some hills, don't we? Today we head to Dover and Folkestone to begin with. So two quite meaty hills to start the day, but then it's flat for the rest of it, all being well. Tents all struck, bikes all loaded. We're ready to go, aren't we, Ewan? So the aim is to get into a bit of riding and probably one of the hills, but then maybe find a cafe for a bit of a second breakfast um, to supplement our muesli and flapjack in your case. Uh, but we're all ready to go. Um, it's another beautiful day at the moment, though storms are forecast. We'll see whether we end up with those. So to be honest, it's been so hot the last couple of days. A nice shower of rain wouldn't be too bad, would it, Ewan? So let's get cycling. We're still climbing up the long drag out of Dover now, second hill of the day. Um, it's quite a long drag and we've got a headwind just for good measure. We were warned that the prevailing winds come this direction and they're certainly prevailing to come this direction. But we're getting towards the top now. I've got one little significant bit of climb to do, I think, before we get to the very top. Nice cycle path and quiet. And at least the sun isn't as blazing hot today, otherwise it's been really hard work. We stopped off at Abbot's Cliff Sound Mirror, built in 1928 as an early warning system for enemy aircraft. It could hear planes from up to 15 miles away. The Battle of Britain Memorial is dedicated to Churchill's famous few who fought in the skies overhead to keep this country free from invasion in 1940. The memorial wall lists the names of all those known to have taken part in the Battle of Britain, while a replica Spitfire and Hurricane stand nearby as a reminder of the iconic machines as they flew to victory. How's the honey taste? Good. What have you got there then? A buzz power liquid thing. just stopped we're, we're almost about to start doing the long descent back down to the coast having finished our hill climbing for the day but we're just <laughs> admiring the amazing terminus for the tunnel crossing it's just so much bigger than I actually imagined it would be uh, but it's impressive it's definitely something to go and do one day isn't it Ewan so we're enjoying looking at that and just going wow that's some serious engineering Ewan's decided it's the spaghetti junction of railways
We've made it to our campsite for the night. It's been a long day of riding, 47 miles, and we're definitely feeling it in the legs after a whole day of battling into the wind along the coast. Very glad to tuck into a highly nutritious meal of super noodles with some chopped um, pepperoni into it. You know, really living up the life. Pepperami, sorry Ewan. Um, but I did manage to pick a bottle of cider on the way through as well to refresh. And what have you got, Ewan? So Ewan has a juice burst, which is his pretty much his favourite drink at the moment. So we've got the tent pitched while the food is cooking. Still got the air beds and so on to blow up, but time to relax and a much easier day of riding tomorrow. Good morning, it's the final day of our cycle tour along the Canty Way. The tent's all struck again. And today we've just got just under 30 miles to do. So a nice straightforward day's riding before we hopefully catch the trains back up to, from Ashford, back up to London, and then from London back home. Uh, so Ewan's been having some fun with some other people on the campsite. <laughs> They've got some little kittens out this morning, so that was nice. Uh, and now we're just loaded up the bikes and we'll start back along the coast to begin with, along to Rye. So we've just made it into Rye, where we've stopped for breakfast, which was good timing considering it's also raining. So um, when it's raining, stop for breakfast. It's, it's good advice to me, does it to you, Ewan? Uh, so we've gone from full English this morning to power our last day of cycling, haven't we? Heading from Rye, we start heading land now towards um, the station at Ashford, where we finish our ride. We've got a few undulations, we've done the flat bit now, but nothing major today. Uh, and then hopefully manage to get the trains to get us back home, isn't it? We're just off the last few miles now to Ashford. Pretty much downhill for the last section and just enjoying a last bit of gravel for a while. So yeah, not far to go now. We hope you've enjoyed our little adventure cycling the Canty Way. Do like our video and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more cycling and running adventures. And we hope to see you on another little adventure soon.